Mars, a new frontier. Let me, William Shatner, take you on a voyage of discovery as we share fascinating facts about this intriguing world. In the recent past, we inhabitants of Earth have been concerned about invasion, flaming meteorites, and aliens from this mysterious red planet. I can reassure you there's no immediate cause for alarm, so for now, buckle your seatbelts and let us boldly go to find out what we know about Mars. To the Romans, the red color of the planet suggested bloodshed, so they named it after their gods of war. We now know iron in Martian dust reacts with oxygen to produce that rusty red color. So much for tragic Roman theories. Mars has two moons, Phobos, which is Greek for fear, and Deimos, which means flight. They were named after the horses which pulled the chariot of the Greek god of war, Ares. Humans have long been obsessed with intelligent life on Mars. An Italian astronomer must take some blame for this. In 1877, Giovanni Schiaparelli observed grooves or lines on its surface. He called these canali and thought they must have been made by sentient beings. Later, these grooves turned out to be an optical illusion. You'll find the largest mountain in the solar system on Mars. It is three times taller than Mount Everest and as wide as the entire Himalayan mountain range. This colossal specimen is called Olympus Mons. Thinking of taking a vacation? Mars is a thousand times further away from Earth than the Moon, so it would take us approximately six months to get there. That's a lot of in-flight movies. Did you know a year on Mars lasts 687 days, making a Martian year nearly twice as long as an Earth year? With six months long summers, why not move to Mars? The simple scientific answer is we wouldn't be able to breathe. Its atmosphere is made up of 96% carbon dioxide and less than 0.2% oxygen. In these conditions, you really would be dying to get that killer tan. So far, we've launched 40 missions to Mars, but only 18 have been successful. Hopefully the failures weren't due to Martian interference. Weaker gravity on Mars means 100 kilograms on Earth is equivalent to just 38 kilograms on Mars. Moving to Mars would be a very effective way to lose weight. The Outer Space Treaty was signed by most nations in 1967. This established outer space as belonging to no single group, but instead to the whole of mankind. That's right. We all own a piece of the red planet, but flights won't be cheap. In fact, it would be cheaper to build a life-sized astronaut in gold than actually send one to Mars. I suppose the big burning question we humans really want the answer to is, can we boldly live where no man has lived before? And more importantly, is it safe? This is William Shatner saying goodnight.